Zoom Phone has a ton of CRM integrations. Dynamics 365, Salesforce, Zendesk, HubSpot. Those are just a few that I've done demos on. Now Zoom Phone's added yet another integration, Outreach. We're gonna demo it next. Zoom continues to innovate at breathtaking speed. Here's yet another example of Zoom's development platform integrating and innovating at a speed like no other UCAS provider. In today's demo, we're gonna talk about the outreach integration with Zoom Phone, the ability for sales reps to make calls, receive calls, keep call notes and records, record calls, listen to voicemail, send SMS text messaging to prospective customers, the ability for supervisors to create call sequencing for the representatives to follow throughout the course of the day. And in order to do that, I'm gonna bring in a special guest. So let's get started. Well, again, it's one of those days where I have a special guest. And the reason I have special guests is because they know a lot more about stuff than I do. And instead of learning it because I'm lazy, I'm going to bring in an expert already. So Brian, welcome to the show and, and tell us why you're here. Hi, my name is Brian Bolander. I'm a Technically a contact center uh, solutions engineer. Been with Zoom for about a year now. Um, but what I'm here to show and talk about is our latest and greatest uh Zoom phone integration, which is outreach for voice. I've done several demos, or I haven't. I've literally pulled in guests like you to do demos on, on Salesforce, Zendesk, um, HubSpot. I did one on Dynamics. And, and this is outreach. It's a CRM application, correct? It's technically a CRM, but it's generally used for outbound calling campaigns. So most sales organizations that uh, sell anything these days, especially in the SaaS world, they'll uh, use uh, outreach for outbound for the BDRs, SDRs to make outbound calls to reach customers. So in that regard, I I would, you know what I would love to see? I would love to see what it looks like from a user experience because the demos we did basically on the other CRM applications or calling applications is Zoom phone integrated into, into a web portal. Again, I'm assuming that outreach, because I've never seen it in full disclosure, I'm assuming outreach looks a lot like that. Um, yes, pretty similar to our other phone integrations that we have, Salesforce, Zendesk. You have, uh, and you want to live in the, the product itself, so whatever that uh, CRM may be, you want to live in there as, as much as possible, so click the dial, things like that. Well, if, if you don't mind, I, I would love to see a demo from like a user experience side of things, what it looks like to be like a day in the life of a salesperson utilizing the power of outreach in Zoom phone. Sure, happy to help out there. So um, part of the outreach integration, of course, your admin is going to have to, um, whoever runs the outreach is going to have to add in uh, the Zoom phone uh, for outreach at this point. So just, just go to our, uh, our, our, our apps marketplace uh -huh. and you'll be able to search for Zoom phone for outreach. You'll be able to add that in. I've already have it added in, so I don't have the button anymore. But once you click add it in, it'll walk through its process of installing that integration um, into your platform. And then once that's completed, you'll have to go to settings. There's a uh, option for the organization when it comes to voice. Gotcha. You'll click on the voice and you'll see there's a few in here already, um, but you'll see Zoom phone in here as an option. So you'll want to click on that, click save, and then that adds that into your uh, platform. One thing to note is once you add a particular voice path for outreach, it's all or none. So everybody that's part of outreach will have that same phone integration. Um, you can't really separate that out by profiles or anybody. So you can't have one person using some other phone tool and another person using another one. So it's uh, this is part of outreach's uh, backend system. That way they work. Gotcha. Um, second part to that integration would be adding the Chrome or Chrome plugin. Um, so you can go in, go to Chrome, manage extensions, install that plugin. You just do the same thing. You'll search for outreach for Zoom phone, install that plugin. And what that does is it gives you what we call our little CTI built in. It's a Chrome extension, web Chrome extension at that point. It gives you all the capabilities from your history, shows all your phone calls, shows your voicemails if you have any, lets you also SMS text between um, prospects if you want to, um, if your administrators allow you to. So you do have those options in there also. Now, quick question, because I always get asked this, <clears throat> do I need the full Zoom client in addition to this outreach uh, application? You do. Our uh, outreach, and just like most of our phone um, integrations, that does do a cross-launch of our phone application. But I don't know if uh, Patrick, you've even seen this one yet. They have retooled our phone app where I can now use the Zoom Assistant. So I think you've, you've done a couple demos on the Zoom Assistant in the past. Um, now, instead of launching and cross-launching the entire uh, desktop application, it would actually just launch the little Zoom Assistant here and make that, that call here. So you're not taking up a large amount of space for that phone call coming in or have to worry about it on another screen. It'll just launch the little widget down here on the side and you have your call controls and everything from there. So it kind of makes it a lot more simplistic 
yeah. and doesn't take up a lot of real estate that way. I saw the dialer, so I, <laughs> I I'm going to go with the assumption that that's how you make a phone call, right? But yeah. what about other stuff that I call them advanced things like like holds or how to mute or how to record and stuff like that? So when you make a phone call or you do a click to dial out of the application, I can do everything in inside the CTI here. So if I have that call initiated, even though it launched my little uh, widget down here, I can do the call controls within here if I want, or I can do the call controls within here. So if I want to pause the recording, mute, transfer, any of those uh, functionalities, I can do all that within the CTI, or I can do it within the application down here or Zoom Assist down here at the bottom. So two different ways to do it. It just depends on how you know you feel most comfortable as an end user using it. For me, when I generally do this, I leave this minimized and I really don't use it unless I need to. I'll use the, the application here or if I'm going to make a phone call, like do a direct dial and I need to make sure that gets logged into Outreach, then I'll use my Zoom plugin for that purpose only. Normal day-to-day -day stuff, most of your VDRs, your SDRs, anybody who's going to be using this platform generally do not make just basic outbound calls. Um, it's usually a cadence of one way or another um, that they have to do. So occasionally gotcha. they do. And if you do, you'll want to use the widget for that. Or if it's a prospect, um, you always come in and just do a simple click to dial. So if I have a prospect here, I could click on the phone icon, do a click to dial, write out that phone, and it'll launch that our uh, application and make that phone call for me. Let's take it up a notch, right? Is that now we are in a phone call and as a BDR, right? As a salesperson, you're going to be taking notes during that phone call to push to the CRM. I assume again that we can do that here. That is exactly correct. And better than, than you know, talk about it. Let's just kind of show you and see what it looks like. So Maya here, she's uh, one of the agents here. So there, she's one of my prospects. I'm the agent. I have to call this uh, individual. So said most of the time, uh, these will be pre-programmed from your boss. We'll have a cadence for you, a list of individuals that you need to call prospects. And they'll create what's called a sequence or an activity ta a task. So I could come in here and start this task. So you'll see it launches a whole new screen. I have an outbound activity that I need to do. I need to start this task going on. I just make a simple click of the button here and it's gonna launch my Zoom phone at that point. You'll see it starts up my task. You'll see the little widget down here at the pop-up at the side. It's making that phone call for me. Let me get on my other end and we'll answer that call. So good thing about this little widget, I can move it anywhere I want just in case it's in my, my space. I'm now talking to this client. Um, as I said before earlier, we can do the pause, transfers, holds, all that information down here at the bottom. Or let's like say I don't really use it that much. I can still use our widget to do those holds, minimize, and do all that stuff within the widget itself. It's just easy to have it down at the bottom. It's just a placeholder is what I call it. Yeah. Um, but it's there to use if you want to use it. During this uh, whole process, this is what most uh, end users will see when they're making their, doing their cadence or sequence. They'll have the opportunity they reach out to. They'll have a disposition for those, which are all pre-designed. Answer meeting set for this person. Call per purpose was to do, for, do a demo call. I can put any notes down here I want. Um, this is just basic uh, work. And then once I'm done, I log this call. It's completed. I, it moves on to the next, next task after that. So you see I have a second task. I'll end this call with uh, Maya here. Once that call is completed, I move on to my next uh, my next task and my next person to call. So it, outreach isn't really like a robo dialer. I have to manually click each button because once. Yeah. So you just start your next path, makes that phone call for you, and you just continue down your cadence. I have six of these to go through. I don't really think we want to go through all those today on that demo, but we can if you want. So now I've, I've gone through my six calls and now I want to follow up with maybe maybe send and receiving or reading text or SMS messages from, from outreach. Is that is that sure. possible? Oh, sure it is. So if I want to maybe uh, text uh, Maya, I was talking to her, I forgot something, quickest ways to, to message her. I can always just come in here, do an edit here. Who I'm going to do this to? Then I'll just say, hi, Maya. Sends that out, it goes there. And then she got that text message and she can always just type back. There we go. And she texts me back and she'll just ask me, hey, what do we need? There you go. So that just takes her back. You will do. You will get the, the regular Zoom notifications, but uh, this is just SMS between us going through here. Another good aspect of the integration is maybe I stepped away from my desk, I went to lunch and my lady decided to call me back and I missed that phone call. Instead of worrying about going into my, my client or going into anywhere else in here, Outreach and the Zoom integration has a, a great functionality where it logs, sees all of our call logs of the agents that are part of Outreach. So even though I miss a call, I can come back in here and see that miss, missed call and log it if I need to. Or maybe I call the uh, Maya back at some point because I saw I missed a call from her. I can always go back and just call that phone number again right from here. Just do a click dial, call them back, log that call afterwards. Yeah. Um, as a follow-up or whatever I want to do that for, or whatever I want to put in that message. So say Maya called you back and you were out at lunch and she left left a voicemail. Is there any way to, to retrieve it? Oh, sure is. Um, so as you notice in the call logs here, maybe uh, 
I go through here. Some of these are voicemails. Some of these are call recordings. So as you noticed, uh, maybe, maybe not. When I did that call, all my calls were recorded from an outbound standpoint just for compliance. Um, so if I want to see any outbound call or message, so you'll see a message right here. Oh, sequence right there. You see messages and recordings will all be right here. So I just click on a little button and it'll play that message. If this was a recorded or a voicemail, it gives me the option to not only play this, but I also will get a transcription. So let me go to one that's just a little bit older than that one. Let's take this one. So you'll see the recording here. This is actually the recording. So if I'm at, maybe I'm uh, my uh, Brian's boss and I want to go look and see what this is. And I don't really want to listen to it. I just kind of want to read what was there. I can also see the transcription of that recording too. So that's kind of a cool function out about our integration with outreach is I can see full transcriptions of voicemails and recordings if I want to. So it looks like we've, we've done we've done phone calls, calling and receiving. We've done SMS messages. We've done voicemails. We've done call recordings. You've shown me the, the entire call log. What else is there to see, Brian? What happens at the end of the day when you want to log off? How do you do that? Uh, I pretty much just go to my, uh, app, my CTI application, click this little icon right here and say, I'm out of here. And I log off right from there. Same if I want to sign back in for the day, I just click the sign in button, log in, and uh, I'm I'm ready to, to go, ready to rock and roll for my day. Well, perfect. Brian, thank you. This is great. This is uh, outreach as as and Zoom phone integration. All the basics that a BDR uh, is going to do on his day-to-day -day activities seems to be right here in, in outreach uh, as well and the Zoom phone integration. I appreciate your time. Again, as always, uh, I always get people that are smarter than me, and th thanks, for, thanks for joining the show. A pleasure to be here. Happy to uh, show uh, everything that Zoom has to offer. And it's a great new integration. Some BDR, some uh, anybody who uses outreach, uh, you make their life a little simpler. Perfect. Thanks, man. Have a great day. You too. And if you like today's video, follow me on LinkedIn or better yet, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I am a Zoom Distinguished Architect. I do work for Zoom, but I am not a figurehead or a spokesman for Zoom. I just like to talk about cool technology. And a lot of times that has to do with Zoom. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.